In this tutorial, you'll learn how easy and how fast you can build a show in Photopia by starting with a blank show. It's as simple as adding your images and music, applying slide styles and transitions, making a few edits, and you're ready to publish. For this tutorial, I'll be using Creator, but everything I'll be doing works exactly the same in Director. From the home page, start a new slideshow or project, select Blank Show, and make sure you name it before you hit Create. Once you're in your project, you may be tempted to start dropping everything into new slides, but I would recommend having a look at your show settings before you start. Click on the Show tab, and under the Show Settings, you may see that the default slide and transition times are both set to 3 seconds. This means that every image you add to a slide will have a 3 second slide time and a 3 second transition time. This isn't really the average for most shows, so just change these to the length of time you think you'll probably use in your show. You can always edit each individual slide and transition time later. Now, if you click on the Browser tab, you can start adding images to your slides. You can add a single image to a single slide by dragging and dropping it in. You can add multiple images to a single slide by holding down your control key to select multiple images in the browser, then keep your control key pressed as you drop them into a slide. You can add multiple images into multiple slides by holding your control or shift key as you select them in your browser, then let go of the keyboard keys as you drop them into the slide timeline. Before you apply slide styles or determine how long you want your slides and transitions to be, you should add some music. The tempo of the music you choose should help you determine how long each slide and transition time should be. Click on Add Audio and a new browser will appear. You'll most likely be looking at thumbnails, which isn't very helpful for music files. So you may want to change this view from Thumbnail to Detail, which gives you more relevant information about your music files, including their duration. At this point, I should mention that Photopia does have an automatic save that happens in the background every few minutes or so, but it's always best to save your show at regular intervals. Once you have your music in your show, it's time to start putting everything together. If you want your show to start with a transition into your first slide, you'll have to add a blank slide first. That's because transitions go out of one slide and into the next, but there is nothing before our first slide to transition from. So to add a blank slide, hit this rectangle icon and simply move that blank slide to the very beginning. You can make your slide time for this first blank slide zero or something very short, such as a half second. Now you can choose a transition into your first slide. Click on the transition icon in between two slides to open your transition window. You can choose a category on the left or search for a specific transition in the search bar. Take note of this setting called Use Duration Specified by the Effect. If you have this checked, your transition time will automatically change to the default time of the transition you've chosen. If you have your transition time set to your music already and you don't want it to change with the new transition choice, simply uncheck this box before you hit apply. Let's apply a title slide to this first slide. Select your slide, then click on the Slide Style tab. We're looking for a title slide that uses one image, so I'm going to change my category to All Effects so that I can see slide styles in all of my categories. Then I'll click on the Filter Settings. I'm looking for a slide style that only uses one layer and one caption. When I hit OK, my slide style list is now showing me every slide style that I have installed that has exactly one layer and one caption. If I know the name of the style I'm looking for, and I'm going to look for Sliding Bar's title, I can just start typing that name in the search bar until it pops up. You can select your slide style and then hit Preview to see what it will look like with your image before you hit Apply. 
you can make simple adjustments to your images and your text layers using the Content tab. Before we continue on, I want to point out that Photopia automatically applies a still frame from your very first slide as your show and project thumbnails. So if you've added a blank slide as your first slide, your thumbnail will be blank. To choose a different thumbnail, simply move the timeline marker to a point where you want to set your show thumbnail, then right click in the preview window and choose set frame as show thumbnail. Editing your slides and transitions to your music is done easily in the Timeline tab. Click and drag on any line to adjust the timing of the slide or transition to the left of where you were clicking. Hold your Control key to adjust the timing of both the slide and transition on either side of where you are clicking. Or you can hold down your Shift key to adjust the timing of both slides or both transitions outside of where you are clicking. Use your timeline marker to visually line up your slide and transition times with your audio waveform. If you've added a video file that has audio in it and you'd like your music to lower down during that video clip, click on the Show tab, then on your Sound file. In the Audio Settings tab, you'll see that your music's volume is already set to drop down to 50% when there's audio in a slide, including audio in a video file. 50% may not be low enough, so you may want to lower this further. The fade in and outs are set at one tenth of a second, which is really more like a cut than a gradual fade. You may want to make these a little longer, around a second or two. And that's it. Once you have all of your images and videos in your slides, slide styles applied, and as many songs added as you need to fit your images, you're ready to publish your show. Click on Publish in the top right corner, and you have several publishing options, including creating a standalone digital file in any one of these formats, sharing to social media, burning Blu-ray, DVDs, or flash drives, and creating files that work with specific devices. You can create beautiful slideshows using Photopia in just a few steps. Add your content, apply styles and transitions, edit your show to fit your music, and finally publish your show so you can share it with your family and friends.